What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration on how I make my coilovers as low as possible. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this on how I do it. I'm usually pretty bad about showing every little detail on how I get my cars as low as they are. I'm by no means lower than a lot of other people with their Y33s and the Miatas. There's a lot of people that are lower than I am now. However, uh, I still get a lot of questions on how I get the most out of my coilover. Um, I'm going to show you um, how I've done it on many cars. Obviously, this is not recommended, and obviously you're going to be sacrificing your ride quality as you do more to go lower. I have here an old coilover from a Miata, but for the most part, most coilovers are gonna be set up the same and gonna be adjusted the same, and you'll be able to modify them the same to be able to get the most out of them. I have one of my old Miata coilovers here. This is what I used to have on my uh, Miata, and I'm basically going to use this as a, as a guide for you guys to be able to see really what I mean by taking out the collars and uh, getting rid of the preload and all of that in order to go as low as possible. Uh, this is a aluminum uh, kind of base here, and so that will be important later on. Depending on your coilover and the application, you'll be able to modify it in different ways to be able to go as low as possible. So this is kind of the generic setup and how it will come from the factory. You'll have the preload, you'll have your two collars here, so you have your main collar, you have your locking collar here, and then you have your cup here, and you have your locking collar for that. So the first way I would go as low as possible is to screw the shock body into the cup as far as possible. That's going to be how the factory recommends that you get the car as low as possible. But as soon as you run into the bottom here with the shock body, then you're gonna run into some issues if you wanna go lower. Once you're at the point where your shock body is completely bottomed out into the rear cup here, I'll start to use the adjustment for the preload to then lower the car further. Obviously, you will have a loose spring, and in some applications, the spring won't always seat once you lower the car. With a little jump on the car or driving it for a little bit, it'll snap back into place. It's not ideal, but if you're trying to go lower, this is kind of the only way. Um, first off, I'd like to say that I would never recommend cutting the springs. I have done it before, but there's almost no reason to cut the springs. Once you cut the spring, there's no going back, and you've kind of compromised the way that it sits in the coilover, and I kind of don't... I really don't recommend that. So the first thing we're gonna do after we have it completely bottomed out is we're going to adjust this all the way down. Now, adjusting the preload, we should be able to get almost an inch and a half more of low. You see all of this spring, we're basically going to be bottoming it out on top of this. And this is the most ideal situation because ideally you won't have to remove the coilover in order to get to this point. So we'll immediately be able to move all the way down and get another inch, maybe inch and a half of low. Depends on your car, depends on the coilover. So right away, you have that slop in there. Usually not a big deal, but you've already gone another inch and a half lower. And by then, you should have already accomplished your goal. However, if you haven't, there's another couple more solutions. So the first thing I would do is you take off this cup and you start to remove one of these collars at a time. You will always have to have this top one, otherwise your spring will just be loose in there and it'll probably drop down or slip over the smaller rings. So progressively, you'd wanna take out one of these collars, then the second, and then at that point, you'll move on to the next step, but we're gonna bring this all the way down and we'll see how low we can get then. Now, without putting this all back together, I'm sure you can imagine, now after one of these is out, you can almost get another quarter inch of low. Obviously, you wanna bottom this out into the shock body, and then you wanna bottom all of these out onto each other so that way they're all locked into place. After that, you have another quarter inch of preload adjustment you can use. Then what you would do is you would put the cup back on, bottom it out. You always want to have this bottomed out if you're trying to be as low as possible. Obviously, the shock body being as low into it is the best for the adjustment, and then that way you have as much travel in the shock as possible. Every time you use the preload as an adjustment, you are losing the travel in the shock body itself, so that way you're probably more likely to be hitting the bump stop in here, um, and if you are, you can go ahead and cut that down. I usually wouldn't recommend on removing it completely, but if that's what you need to do to get as much travel as possible, then that's what you gotta do. Now that this is all the way up, we can adjust that down and I would usually tighten that up. Now you have all of this droop. 
However, you are about as low as you can get. You do have this amount of travel in the spring and in the shock. However, it will um, settle a little bit with the actual weight of the car. And then you will only have probably about an inch of travel before you're bottoming out on the shock to the top hat. And if you have about whatever this is, half inch, three quarter inch bump stop in here, you're gonna have about a quarter inch of travel before you're hitting and it's gonna be really bouncy ride. Of course, you can remove this, then you'll have another three quarters of an inch of travel. Ideally, your the bounce of your car will have slowed down enough that you won't hit the shock body, but that's kind of something that you have to play with in order to figure out what's gonna be the best ride for you. Now, at this point, you have pretty much gone as far as you can go without really modifying anything. Um, at this point, there is no turning back if you'd like to go lower. I have done this on several different cars and I've done it a couple different ways. So. I'll remove this bottom cup and ideally you need to go even lower with the preload and that, that's if you're not already basically riding on the bump stops or already crashing into the top hat with the shock body. If you take a look in here there are threads but they're only for about an inch. Obviously you want to keep as much of those threads as possible however if it's aluminum and you don't know how to weld aluminum like I don't, um, the best solution would be to trim this down. So the whole cup you want to trim down uh, incrementally until you get the height that you want. Um, I've only ever done it about a quarter inch before. I want to keep as many of those threads in there as possible. Um, however, the thing is um, the weight of the car is not on those threads anymore once you have the shock body bottomed out into there. So it's only the uh, decompression of the car or whatever it is um, that is putting the stress on those threads. And this being such a large thread um, I think it would be it would have to be a huge amount of pressure in order to actually um, strip those threads out of there so I think taking a quarter inch out of this which if you can take a look in there there's almost a quarter inch of no threads at the beginning anyways so taking that away you get that quarter inch more and ideally at this point you've gone from bottoming out your coilover and getting almost an inch more to getting probably another three quarters inch out of your coilover um, another solution for the bottom cup, if you have a steel bottom cup, is I have cut the bottom of this before completely in half, taken a section out, and then re-welded it together in order to get this as low as possible and have as much threads in there as possible. However, this being aluminum, that's not something that I would do or am capable of doing at this point. Other than some very minor things, um, I think that I've covered about as much as I have ever done to get as low as I have been with my cars, with the coilovers I have. Um, you have to realize that I haven't always had the highest quality coilovers or the best coilovers or ones purposefully built for exactly what I was doing with the car up until just recently when I did the Y33 where I got my 40K spring rate. Those springs being 40K and also really short helps with getting as low as possible. So if you have a higher spring rate where the spring is longer, you're gonna run into some of these issues that we've talked about. There are a couple other things you can do. As you take the coilover apart, you could probably see some areas where you can trim some stuff like the bottom of the shock body here. Um, again, you wanna do that at your own discretion if you feel that you can get a little bit more out of it. Obviously, in at this point, you should have been able to get about as low as you could want. Um, at this point, if you want to go lower, you're probably getting to a lot more modifications uh, with everything else, not just your coilovers. I hope this helped out a lot of you guys. I get the question a lot. Um, I've never really shown exactly like what I do one for one. This might seem very simple to a lot of you guys. However, to people who got their first set of coilovers or their second set of coilovers and are really trying to go as low as possible, this might be a little bit of a newer concept or people kind of just understand a little bit and they just need a better visual in order to understand how we're actually getting as low as we are. Please guys realize that this is basically purely for people who are looking to lower the car as much as possible. This is going to diminish your ride quality the more you go down the line and that's just something that you should expect when doing this kind of stuff to your car. Anyways guys I hope this helped out and peace out.